in a bid to rescue Nigeria from the grip of the ruling political leadership of the APC and PDP, leaders of conscience under the umbrella of the National Consultative Front is making a conscious effort to provide a credible ideological mega political alternative. It has also inaugurated a 22-member political merger committee headed by Right Honorable Gali Umar Naaba, and former Speaker of Nigeria's House of Representatives and co-chaired by Professor Patrick Okadinachi Utomi to negotiate and facilitate an inclusive mega-party movement for Nigerians. The political merger committee, which includes 12 national chairpersons of national political parties and nine major political movements and interest groups, has now been mandated to use its inclusivity to ensure the fusion of various platforms. Now let's talk to the co-chairperson of that movement, Honorable Gali Umar Naaba, who joins us now for more insight um, on this new development. Honorable, the political alignment and realignment um, is characteristic of pre-election years. In fact, it is how the big parties you're seeking an alternative to today were formed. What exactly makes this different? Well, uh, it is different in the sense that uh, we have an absolutely different uh, friend of mind. Uh, from what he thought to has been existing. We believe that uh, in the context of our democracy, we must do everything dialectically. And uh, failure to be dialectical and analytical uh, uh, was, you know, is responsible for bringing us to where we are today. We believe that no matter how well-intentioned any leader is, and no matter how capable and able he is, in the absence of a system that will ensure that everything he does, you know, uh, becomes uh, illicit resp responses. In other words, there must be some responsiveness to what government is doing to ameliorate everything Nigeria is going through. I understand the response factor, and, uh, Honorable. You earlier mentioned different frame of mind. Um, that's a little bit confusing because it, it's the same crop of politicians. Um, the NC Front, for instance, is um, talking about creating a credible ideological mega political alternative it is perhaps the biggest thing the political structure in nigeria currently lacks so you're bringing politicians who have been a part of other parties in previous time how do you intend to create this unique ideology that you're talking about well of course we cannot come from the moon or from another planet to see to say we are going to rescue our country it is the experiences we gather when we are in those parties that we are now going to put in place for us to be able to rescue our country. Uh, we know that uh, these parties cannot and should not continue to be in governance because we know the way they operate and uh, that is the way they are going to continue to operate. And uh, we feel that there must be uh, this time around uh, some difference must be made in the manner this country is being run. We are not likely going to bring First people from, all, from moon. To Let me just button a little honorable. We are not likely going to bring people from the moon, but there are people who are saying that perhaps um, younger people would also come with newer ideas um, rather than um, the names that have occurred for decades back to back. Well, the, the bulk of uh, membership of National Consultative Forum, you know, uh, consists of the youth. And uh, the youth cannot make any headway in anything without the wisdom of the elders. So we have both, you know, younger and older persons within the front 
and uh, we normally uh, sit down and uh, brainstorm and everybody brings his ideas both the young and the old and that is the way to do it and uh, that is the way we are doing it all right so moving forward um, the challenge has always been the conflict between individual interest and what you call uh, party ideology which we obviously lack in this country so what we expect to see or what we have seen in time past is that people who are disgruntled by the political process in their own party uh, move to the ensign front for instance um, to um, get a more likely platform to further front their own interest how do you intend to battle that Well, it is our intention, you know, to do things in a manner that will enable our ideas to be implementable. Uh, politics is dynamic, of course, and uh, political parties are not private uh, business organizations. Uh, they, are, uh, pub they are public entities. And uh, we are aware that uh, if we are not careful, uh, you know, people will come and they will, of course, attempt to take away what we are trying to build. But uh, we are also trying to, you know, build in measures that will make that difficult for anybody to come and take away what we want to build. Because for us to be able to build uh, a party where we can realize the objectives we have in mind you know we have to be able to also have a staying power without which we cannot do anything because what we seek to achieve you know is long term it's not something that we sit down today and realize tomorrow so we know of the existence of such people and uh, in most cases, we know them, and uh, we are doing our best to do all we can, you know, in order to be able to uh, uh, disable them. I guess time will tell, you know, when you refer to being long term, because uh, there are many who are watching right now, and so the fact that it's coming in 2021 means that you are actually um, looking ahead to 2023, and how long term that is, is also very relative. But we must say a big thank you, co chairperson NC Front, Honorable Gali Umar Naba. Uh, thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, we'll get back to you subsequently uh, for more updates. Thank, thank you very much. I appreciate it.